Hi there. Now for this question, part one, we're asked to sketch the curve y equals 1 plus x multiplied with 2 minus x multiplied with 3 plus x, giving the coordinates of all points of intersection with the axes for three marks. So for this first part, if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, for the first part then, what we need to do is just sketch our axis, our y-axis and our x-axis, something like that. And if we're to find out, first of all, where it crosses the x-axis, then we'd set y equal to 0. So because it's factorised, then each of these factors, 1 plus x, 2 minus x, and 3 plus x, could equal 0. So if 1 plus x equals 0, we're going to have x equaling negative 1. So we'll suppose that that point's there. And if 2 minus x equals 0, then x would equal 2. So we'll have that point there. And if 3 plus x equals 0, then x would have to equal minus 3. So we'll take that point there. And where it crosses the y-axis, well, that's when x equals 0. And when x equals 0, you're just going to have 1 here, multiplied with 2, multiplied with 3. So you've got once 2 is 2, 3 2 is 6. So it's going to cross the y-axis at 6. So we'll just say 6 is there. It's not drawn to scale, this, but uh, hopefully it will give you an idea. Next thing I notice is that it's a cubic equation. We're going to have plus x times minus x times plus x. So it's going to be negative x cubed. And we should be familiar with the shapes of cubic graphs. If you've got a positive x cubed graph, you're going to get something looking this kind of shape, OK, for positive x cubed. But if it's negative x cubed, then you get that kind of shape. OK, so that's negative x cubed. And that's what we've got here. So I'm expecting the graph to come down through the minus 3, something like this, bottom out, then up through the minus 1. And then here, it's going to carry on just slightly up beyond the y-axis here. It's not going to have a maximum here on the y-axis. Quite often you see that kind of mistake being made. And then it's going to fall back down through the 2 there and then fall away, something like that. In fact, this curve here doesn't look very good, actually, so just take that out and just re-sketch that part in again. Possibly it's going to look more like that, OK? So there's my curve, then, for our equation here. Now, in part two, we're asked to describe the transformation that transforms the curve y equals 1 plus x multiplied with 2 minus x multiplied with 3 plus x to the curve y equals 1 minus x multiplied by 2 plus x multiplied with 3 minus x for two marks. So again, you might like to uh, have a go at this. So just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. So what's it going to be? Well, it is, in fact, a reflection in the y-axis. And that's because... It's all based on transformations of graphs. I'm going to say let f of x okay, equal our curve that we've got here. That is 1 plus x multiplied with 2 minus x multiplied with 3 plus x. And what I've done here is I've noticed that this particular graph okay, has got every x has been replaced with a negative x from this curve here. So what I'm looking at is f of minus x. So this would replace any x, as I say, in here with negative x. So you're going to get 1 minus x for the first bracket. Then it'd be 2 minus minus x. In other words, 2 plus x. And then for this bracket, it'll be 3 plus minus x, or simply 3 minus x. And what this does to any graph is it reflects it in the y-axis. So what we've got here, then, 
is a reflection in the y-axis. So if you want to gen up on any of the transformations of graphs, just check them out on my website, okay, under transformations of graphs.